Hey, Dad. How you doing? I'm okay. Can I get your ear for a minute? You got it. Can I tug on your ear? Be gentle. You got a second, right? Yep. Listen, I'm wondering, uh, tomorrow night, I've set aside some special time for the mm -hmm. two of us to have a, uh, maybe a, a, a private time. A dinner, perhaps? Uh, maybe a slight celebration of sorts? What, what, what exactly are we celebrating? You don't know? I'm, I'm looking at my calendar. I don't see anything in there. I think ten years back. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. that's From right. tomorrow. It's when your voice changed. No, Dad, it's, uh, it's the anniversary of your divorce and the breakup of our family. So tomorrow I'm thinking of planning a dinner, you know, and I'm going I'm to start today. Yeah. I'm going to start cooking a nice stew, and then I'm going to ruin it. Oh, is this sort of a symbol? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe I'll make a nice uh, soup with all the fresh ingredients, very organic, and then I'll ruin it. Hey, you are one sentimental kid. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just a thought. Do you want to do this at home, or would you rather go out? Well, I think it would be more you know, symbolic if we do it at home. Uh -huh. You know? Sit at separate tables. I see what you mean. So, so you're on. That's a date. I appreciate it. I think it'll be fun, you know? We don't, uh... Wait a minute. We do spend a lot of time together. <laughs> Hey, Laura, right? What? Yeah, I'm a little early. How's it going? Fine. A new earrings. I like your earrings. <sighs> hey, you know, uh, have you ever... Uh, you, you, I mean, you model, right? <laughs> Can you sit down? All right. I'll just wait. Look, my sister just had a baby, Doc. Check it out. I just became an uncle. Cute. He's such a beautiful kid. I went to the store. You know, I want to get him a little present. He's six months old. So I got him a little blue sailor suit, you know, like kids wear, you know, with the shorts and the ribbon, a little blue sailor hat, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm paying for the counter, right? right? Buddy behind the counter puts it in the box. She looked at me and she actually said to me, is this a gift? Now I'm going to wear it out. Yeah, I got a job interview in an hour, so hurry up before I make duty caca on my diaper, you freak of nature. You told her. I love kids so much, man. My little cousin Matthew is the cutest kid in the world. I took him out to lunch the other day. I said, Matthew, how old are you now? He goes, six. I go, if you could be any age, what age would you be? He goes, seven. I go, I only six or seven. He goes, it's the only ones I know. Sure. I go, what about eight or nine? He goes, what the hell is your problem? Oh, man, I'm getting old. I went to uh, try to buy a new needle for my record player. I might as well have said, excuse me, do you guys sell cannonballs? I'm fresh out of cannonballs for my cannon outside. Can you make it quick? The British are coming. The British are coming. Hmm. I love music, man. I used to go out with a girl who worked for a record company. That is the coolest job in the world. After our first date, she sent me a whole bunch of new CDs in the mail. Oh, great. Now I just have to take her out three more times in the next five years. When we, when we stopped last time, you, you were starting to tell me about your grandfather, about growing up with him. Yeah, my grandfather. On my mother's side. Right. Yeah. He was a nut. My grandfather actually raised me. We were best friends. We were very close. Mm -hmm. But you ever notice this? Sometimes, you know, when you live with older people, they kind of have a language all their own. You have to translate all the time. Yeah. I remember watching TV with my grandfather. He's like, put in that show I like. Oscar and Bunky. Starsky and Hutch? Yeah, that's the one. So it was two single guys living in a house together. He, I once made the mistake of letting my grandfather fix me up on a blind date. Right. You've been on a blind date? Yes, I have. The worst night of my life. I get all dressed up. I pick this girl up. Heinous. That was her name, Heinous. I get to her building, right? She opens the door. I took one look. I did like a buckwheat, you know? I'm trying to be nice, make conversation. I'm like, so Heinous. Yeah. I was just admiring that infected fingernail. She had this mole, you know, with hair growing out of it. It was like talking to me the whole time, you know? Whoopa! 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 No, no, Stan, I'm not. I, I don't know if I, I, you know, first of all, I don't even know if I want it. Now is a good time. Go, Shh. go, go, go. No. He's hey, receptive. Hey, hi, hi, no. hey, hi. What's up? There's something. Nothing. Uh, Stanley just. Julie has something she really would like to impart. Go ahead. No, I don't. What I, is, what is this all about? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, a good friend of Julie's came to town and, uh, you know, I think there might be a little, uh, little couple of shows between the two of you. You might want to give her a buzz. What between the two of us? Something, you know, a little uh, feeling, a little, uh, you know. What, wait, wait, wait a second. First of all, let's start with the basics. Mm, yeah. What's her name? Her name's Beth. Beth. So what's 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 she like? Hey, now you're talking. That's a spirit. Well, she's smart. Yeah. And she's cute. Mm -hmm. And she makes all her own clothes. Uh, yeah, I, I met her earlier today, and uh, she's great. She's, really? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I gave you a terrific buildup, uh, so you're, uh, you know, you're, you're pre-approved. You know, if you hear what I'm saying. Well, that was nice of you, Stanley. Yeah. I, I also, I told her, I told her your nickname was uh, was uh, Scooch. Why would you do that? I, I, I panicked, you know, but uh, she liked it. <laughs> You're in. Hmm. She's she's cute. Yeah. yeah she, she makes she... all her own clothes. Have we mentioned that? Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah. I've known her for a long time, and I, I guess I just was thinking, nice dinner somewhere? Does she, do, uh, does she wrestle? <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, listen, I have some uh, some bad news. You know, the plans we made for tomorrow night, the uh, little celebration. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to push that back to another night because I actually have a date tomorrow night. A date? Like, with a woman? Yeah. Get out. No, I'm serious. Get out. Serious, man. Move over, kittens. The cat man is back on the prowl, huh? Woo! Man, man, it is one date. Calm down. So who is she? Is it is it Sarah from the bakery? No. no. Susan from, from Donuts, Donuts, Donuts? No. No? Andrea at the Pastry Palace? Man, I don't know any of these women. I'm just making them up. <laughs> Dad, I just love bakeries. But, um, you know, she's a lawyer, makes her own clothes. Sounds wonderful, you know? Makes so, her own clothes? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It means that rather than rather than purchasing them at an outlet or a store, she actually gets the fabric. That's a lie. It's a skill. What do you mean she makes her own clothes? Is that code for something else? No, it's just what it sounds like. She goes to the store, buys fabric, comes home, and turns it into this wonderful garment, supposedly. What do you mean she goes to the store, buys fabric, comes home, turns it into a wonderful garment? Is that code for something? I guess it's code for something. <laughs> okay. So, so nobody does that. So what you're really saying is... Uh, Got a drinking problem. Gotcha. <laughs> a good day today. What is a good day for you? When I'm doing my laundry Yeah. and I get that lint screen off in one piece. Right. Doesn't that feel good? I have to run and show my neighbor. Look, look. Don't touch. It's very fragile. It's thick. I did towels today. I live next door. So, you know, Thanksgiving, I I don't think I can go home for it again this year. Last year was just too upsetting. Mm -hmm. uh, I just have too many upsetting memories. You know, my mom used to save everything from Thanksgiving for weeks. I mean, she threw out none of the food. I, mean, I remember she used to send me to school wearing a turkey carcass vest. It was so humiliating. Mm -hmm. She saves everything. My mother saves aluminum foil. She actually washes out aluminum foil and hangs it up to dry. Her, her laundry room looks like Darth Vader's house. Well, that's, you know, you can that stuff you can save forever. You know, it was embarrassing. I was in school. All the other kids had lunch boxes. My sandwich was in a Pan Am airsick bag. Mm. It makes it tough to trade food with your friends. Anyway, he, he's a dad. My, my boyfriend's a dad. And he has uh, two kids. They're, they're half Swedish and half Norwegian. They're see-through. I have never seen blonder children in my life. Last time you were talking about how much you loved kids, being with kids. Um, I used to substitute teach. Second grade. Yeah. These kids were horrible. That's a tough age. All that they're saying to me, Susan doesn't do it that way. Susan lets us play. Susan lets us chew gum. Susan's prettier than you. Oh, really? Well, Susan's dead. Ne 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 ne. Laura, I need your honest opinion on something. Mm -hmm. Actually, on second thought, could you, sh you could sugarcoat it. What do you think of this sweater? I mean, is, is this is this good? Is this a fun look for me? Well, it's fun for me. Uh, better in or out? Oh, in definitely in. One more thing. Could you pick out a restaurant for me and, and uh, this woman to go to tonight? Someplace romantic. I mean, if somebody was going to ask you out. Please, Dr. Katz, no more. No, I, I just need a recommendation for a nice restaurant. No idea. Well, could you help? Could you look one up in the yellow pages? Could you help me find a good restaurant? Hmm. What are you doing? Calling my lawyer. Dr. Katz, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I don't think I've ever seen you lying on the couch like that. Well, you know what, I'm just, uh, uh I'm just uh, trying to reflect on, on something here. And Does it help to do that? Well, when, I, when, I, when I'm on the couch, you know, I, I sort of get in the same mode that my patients hopefully get. Do you want me to sit in the chair and doodle a little and pretend to care? Yeah, thanks. Do you think that would help? My sister, who I love dearly, has a Doberman Pinscher, mm -hmm. right? I love dogs, you should know that, okay? But I hate her dog. Because she snaps me all the time, as mean as can be, right? Yeah. So now whenever my sister goes to work during the day, I call up her answer machine, leave the dog messages to make him crazy. Come on, boy, want to go for a walk? Where's the leash? Come on, baby. Who's at the door? Go see who's at the door. <coughs> Sit. So, uh, Doc, you know, every time I call up your office and, and uh, your, your receptionist, what's her name? Laura. You know, when she's not there, you're answering. What's with your message? Leave your name and number. Doc, does anybody not know what to do? Are people leaving other data instead? Hey, Doc, call me back right away. My address is 1535 Broadway. My favorite food is corn. How about this? You ever hear this one? Speak clearly after the tone. I used to let my grandfather, uh, because he li you know, we lived together, so I used to let him make the answer machine message. Mm -hmm. You ever hear an 80-year-old man make an answer machine message? 
How the hell is this thing? Beep. He played high school football, my grandfather, back in the days of leather helmets and no face masks. Remember those guys, Doc? Sure. He was so proud. He used to tell me these stories all the time, you know? I was starting fullback for the Newark Maulers. Couldn't afford uniforms back then. Used to shave our numbers into the hair on our backs. We were the toughest team in the league. Our motto was, mottos are for sissies. So, you know, it's just not gonna, just not going to work out tonight because something came up at the last minute and my apologies to Beth, oh, my apologies yeah, to but you because he would, he would leave, leave John, the, uh, done a, the leg work. And, wait, slow down a minute. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to it's you. It's okay. Too. Okay. It's so, okay. John. The, the truth of the matter is I'm having surgery tomorrow. And that's, John. Yes. It's, it's okay. Okay. Just, because, you know, Beth. Just, not just a procedure that, uh, you know, that I wasn't anticipating. Are you really having surgery tomorrow? I'm having my bangs removed. Dr. Katz's office? Yes, who am I speaking with? Hi, Ben. Hey, who am I speaking with? Ben, what are you doing? It's a nice day, huh? Mm-hmm. Is it? I haven't looked yet. You know, I'm all, I'm curled up in a ball in the corner of the kitchen, crying. So I, I there, there's no way for me to see what's what's happening outside. Mm-hmm. Well, then I better let you go, then. But, you know, I've been thinking this thing through, Julie. Yeah. And what's the best thing that could happen? She lives in the Midwest. You know, I'm not... Well, it's, it's, you know, I'm just leading her on. This is not. You know, I think you should just take it easy because yeah. Beth actually called. She um, she can't make it. Wait Tonight doesn't really work for her, I guess. She can't make it is what you're saying. Right. She can't make Something it. Something must have come up at the last minute. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I understand that. She wants to keep her options open, you know, play the field. I thought you said you couldn't make it, though. I mean, what, what do you want here? You want to well, go I, or you don't want to go? That's what I'm saying. I want to go. I don't want to go. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm torn. I'm conflicted. Okay. But, but uh, what? let me ask you this. What time did she tell you? She just called about five minutes ago. Oh, so technically, I had already decided I, I didn't want to go through with it, so she didn't really blow me off. But my, I, will you give her my my, uh, my apologies for canceling on such short notice? Yes. Listen, I have a, just a quick question for you. Would, would you be at all interested in maybe uh, going out on a blind date with um, me? On a blind date? Yeah, a blind date with me. M-O-I me. Then how can I go on a blind date with you if I already know who you are? Um, because? Oh, okay. What if we just don't go out and get, we don't call it a date? But uh, we'll go out and get a couple of haircuts together. What do you say? I mean, we can sit next to each other in the barber chairs. We can talk to each other through the mirrors. And then, you know, it's, it's not an actual date, but... And in the end, I'll pay. You tip. What do you say? No. Dr. Katz? Yeah? Uh, I'm going to be leaving a little early today. You know, maybe... If you, if you need to leave early today, which is okay with me, maybe you could make up for that time by coming a little early tomorrow or staying late tomorrow, just so it sort of evens out by the end of the week you put in, you know, the 40-hour week that I pay you for. That's my only concern, but if you... Laura? Laura? You know, Dad, uh, I have thought of a, a good way to, to meet women, though. How's that? For you, if you're having trouble. Yeah. Open an inn. Well, meeting women is not the issue. Yeah. You know? It's meeting them again. Can I, the truth, Ben, this to me is a much better evening than the one I had planned. We say that now because you're here, but... No, I actually am, I've been looking forward to this. What happened to the... I called it off because she lives in the Midwest. Yeah. I don't want to get involved with somebody who lives 2,000 miles away. You don't want a long distance it's not relationship. Fair. Well, Dad, you know, maybe maybe you just, maybe you, you made too big a deal out of it. You know, it just could have been a date. It's you never, were thinking bringing up... No, nah, it's never that simple. You know, you... you because I know, I know the way my mind works and the way that my heart works. Mm -hmm. Essentially, the heart pumps blood to the head. I don't want this talk yeah. again. Okay. Dad? Yeah? Let's have a toast. A toast to you and Mom and, and what could have been. I'll drink to that, Ben. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. To the pain, Dad. What pain? You know, the pain I felt in the pit of my stomach every day the first few years after you and Mom split up, huh? Oh, oh that pain. Yeah. Then maybe we should slow down on the toast. Well, you don't you know? have to drink every time, Dad. You know, you can just do the toast, click the glasses, don't drink. I'll try that. All right. To you and Mom, uh, splitting up. Cheers. Cheers. You could have not toasted to that. Dad, to the United States Navy. They do a hell of a job. Huh? I'll toast to the Navy. Cheers. To you and Mom, you gave it your best shot. Hmm? Well, that's that's beautiful, Ben. Thank you. And here's to you, a great son and a nice date. And, uh, that's nice. Hey, is that your foot? <laughs> So, I know this might come as a shock to you, but uh, I'm getting married this year. Hey, great. <laughs> I can't wait to tell him. you got to tell him, Kathy. And, you know, I'm, I'm Jewish, you know. Right. 
you know, a lot of people don't think it's a good idea to be in a mixed couple. But, you know, I, I think it's, it, you just have to love each other. I, yeah. I think that's what's important. That's true. You're right. Yeah. I, I mean, everybody has arguments. We, we do. We have our share. And they always start the same way. You know, I always say things like, well, we never go out anymore. And he always says things like, the Holocaust never happened. Mm. You know how couples pick. Yeah, I'd like to get married in St. Patrick's Cathedral just to annoy my mother. I just want to see the look on her face when I eat that wafer. My father would be asking for seconds on the host. Mm, this is good. What is this, host? Get some host when you go shopping next time. My dad's a CPA, and like every CPA, I know he's the most fastidious, meticulous, anal, retentive person. Yeah. Really, if you ever meet my dad and you want to torture him, this is what you do. You time against the wall like this, and then right in front of him, you refold a road map incorrectly. He just twitches a little bit, and then he passes out. <laughs> My aunt is always like uh, hawking me to go out with Jewish women, you know, and it's like every time she meets one of my girlfriends, she wants to know if she's Jewish, you know, but she, she doesn't want to just come out and ask me, you know, Right. she's like uh, more subtle. She's like, I didn't catch her last name, dear. Well, you know, Jeffrey, this is what old women like to do. They like to fix people up. Our friends in the building, the old ladies who live there, they're so adorable, mm -hmm. you know, like our little card playing buddies. They're always like, it's a harsh word, but it fits. They're always like pimping off their granddaughters on me. You know what I mean? You should meet my Angela. She's a law student and beautiful. Like, what do you mean beautiful? Describe her to me. Right. Well, she's not a hunchback. Mm. Sometimes I get desperate to give me the hard sell, you know? Oh, you should be my Marie. Not much to look at, but she'll bop on your schmeckle, boy. <laughs> Doc, I, I'm kind of embarrassed. I, I wrote a love poem. Can I shot on you? Sure, go ahead. It's a poem about a guy who gets dumped by a girl and he just can't seem to get on with his life. Mm -hmm. It's called, Either She Screens Her Calls or She Hasn't Been Home Since 1985. Mm. <clears throat> Hello, pick up the phone. I know you're home. I'll just call back later. What do you think? Whoops, you know what the music means. You hear music? I thought that was in my head. Oh, thank God. <laughs>